Good evening, YouTube. This is Joanna. And tonight I would like to do a review on OPI Chip Skip. I have had this product for a while. Um, I think I got it maybe last spring or last summer. And I have mentioned it a time or two um, in some of my first few videos where I was talking about base coats and top coats. But I have just really learned how to use this product um, maybe a few months back. Um, at first when I got it, I had used it and it wasn't the way that I expected it to be. And I thought that it was a base coat in itself. Um, and it's kind of something you put down before the base coat. Now, as you can see, it's like water is in here. It's got a watery consistency, if you can see that. And it's got a funny brush. Like, see this brush right here? Let's see if I can flick that for you. If you can see, this is what the brush looks like. And it's not like your typical nail polish brush. Um, and it's very short. What this liquid does is... When I do my manicures, I'll usually wash my hands first. And I, um, a friend of mine had asked me if I would do her nails. And when I told her that, she thought I was being funny. Um, and for me, that just helps. Um, when I use my nail polish remover, even the Zoya Remove Plus that I like so much, I always wash my hands with a foam soap. Um, I have a lot of Bath & Body Works soaps. So I use the foam ones um, and I wash my hands. And that just helps get off any of the oils or moisturizers from the nail polish removers that I'm using. And then I apply this. Now, when you put this on, it evaporates. And this is why I thought that it was, you know, something odd. I didn't know that it, what it actually does is it dries any natural oils on your nails. So as soon as you start putting it on, you can see it evaporate. After you use this, you use your base coat. In my case, I like to use it with the Strong Adhesion Base Coat or my C&D Sticky Base Coat. Um, that's usually when I want to keep something on my nails because I know I've said a lot that I changed my nail polish, but usually when I work the weekend, um, I believe I've mentioned before, because I'm doing 12 to 16 hour shifts and a few hours over that, I only have enough time to come home, try to get a little bit of sleep and get back up, so I've been leaving my nails alone um, unless they're chipped or something and then I'll just do a plain color. Um, but this product, I think it helps. Now, when I had my chipping, or I'm sorry, when I had the peeling on my nails, which caused my polish to chip, this adhered it a little bit better. I won't say it stopped it completely, but I really do think it helped because a lot of times the only place that my polish would be um, lifted up from was if the area of my nail had peeled up. Now that I've kind of filed some of that off, I mean, I did my nails um, earlier yesterday, and I've been at work in the med carts. I tried to put some lotion on because I got dry skin. But pretty good, I'd say, so far. Um, I don't see too much tip wear there. Usually, even when I put something on that night or the first time I'm in the med cart like I am all day, there's usually some wear. But this is pretty good. Now, what I did under this manicure, which you've seen this before, was I used my chip skip and my C&D Sticky. And I like this chip skip for use under those products. I do plan to get the Orly Bonder. I've been um, researching that here on YouTube. And it's just another form of a adhering base coat. I also learned the hard way, if I haven't mentioned before, or if you guys haven't already heard here on YouTube, you don't want to use an adhering base coat with glitter polishes since they're already hard to remove. But I really like this product. Um, I just, like I said, started using it the past few months, and I'd say all of this month and last month, I have been using this when I do my nails, and it's just something you put underneath your base coat, um, so I think it helps. Now that I know how to use it, I like it a lot more, and I'm going to buy another one. I usually do that when I like something, just to put it up in case something happens to this, because I've been knocking a lot of my bottles off my table, but I wanted to say this OPI chip skip, I think it's pretty good. Um, so I really do like it. Now, it does smell funny. It kind of has a vinegary smell. So I don't exactly know what's in it per se because I don't have the box or the little pamphlet anymore. But like I said, as soon as you start putting it on your nail, it starts evaporating. And then just a few seconds later, you can start. And you can even use a regular base coat. But I really, really like this. Um, and I think it works really great with my adhering base coats. So I just wanted to share that, and until the next time, everyone have a great evening.